Pee Wee Herman creator Paul Rubens dies at 70 Actor Paul Rubens, best known as the character Pee Wee Herman, died Sunday of cancer. He was 70. Last night we said farewell to Paul Rubens, an iconic American actor, comedian, writer and producer whose beloved character Pee Wee Herman delighted generations of children and adults with his positivity, whimsy and belief in the importance of kindness, read a statement on his Instagram. Paul bravely and privately fought cancer for years with his trademark tenacity and wit. The story of A Guy and His Bike made a cultural splash when the film Pee Wee's Big Adventure directed by Tim Burton premiered in 1985. Suddenly, a raft of childhood phrases were everywhere, I know you are but what am I? I know you are but what am I? That's my name. Don't wear it out. Rubens created Pee Wee in 1977 as a member of Los Angeles improvisational group The Groundlings. And the character went on to have a long life in a stage and TV show before the film. Pee Wee's childish but big-hearted antics became beloved, but Rubens himself was more troubled. In 1991 he pleaded no contest to indecent exposure in an adult movie theater. About a decade later, he pleaded guilty to possessing an obscene image of a minor. His reputation as a sweet, children's performer never recovered. Paul Rubens August 27, 1952 to July 30, 2023, was an American actor, comedian, writer, producer, and children's entertainer. He was known for his character Pee Wee Herman. Rubens joined the Los Angeles troupe The Groundlings in the 1970s and started his career as an improvisational comedian and stage actor. In 1982, Rubens began appearing in a show about a character he had been developing for years. The show was called The Pee Wee Herman Show and ran for five sold-out months. HBO also produced a successful special about it. Pee Wee became an instant cult figure and, for the next decade, Rubens was completely committed to his character, doing all of his public appearances and interviews as Pee Wee. His feature film, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, 1985, directed by Tim Burton, was a financial and critical success and soon developed into a cult film. Its sequel, Big Top Pee Wee, 1988, was less successful. Between 1986 and 1990, Rubens starred as Pee Wee in the CBS Saturday morning children's program Pee Wee's Playhouse. Thereafter, Rubens decided to take a sabbatical from Pee Wee. In July 1991, Rubens was arrested for indecent exposure in an adult theater in Sarasota, Florida. The arrest set off a chain reaction of national media attention that changed the general public's view of Rubens and Pee Wee. The arrest postponed Rubens's involvement in major projects until 1999, when he appeared in several big-budget projects including Mystery Man, 1999, and Blow, 2001. Rubens subsequently started giving interviews as himself rather than as Pee Wee. After 2006, Rubens made cameos and appearances in numerous projects, such as Reno 911. 2006, 30 Rock, 2007. Pushing Daisies, 2007, Life During Wartime, 2009, The Blacklist, 2014-2015, Accidental Love, 2015, and Mosaic, 2018. He also played the voice role of Pavel in the Disney XD television series Tron, Uprising, 2012-2013. Since the 1990s, Rubens worked on two possible Pee Wee films, one dark and adult, dubbed the Pee Wee Herman story, the other a family-friendly epic adventure called Pee Wee's Playhouse, the movie, 3. In 2010, he starred on Broadway in the Pee Wee Herman show. In 2016, Rubens co-wrote and starred in the Netflix original film Pee Wee's Big Holiday, reprising his role as Pee Wee Herman Rubens was born Paul Rubenfeld in Peekskill, New York on August 27, 1952 and grew up in a Jewish family in Sarasota, Florida where his parents, Judy, Rosen, and Milton Rubenfeld, owned a lamp store. His mother was a teacher. His father was an automobile salesperson who had flown for Britain's Royal Air Force and for the U.S. Army Air Forces in World War II, and later became one of the founding pilots of the Israeli Air Force during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. An Orthodox Jew, he was one of five Jewish pilots to fly against Arab forces in smuggled fighter planes. 
Rubens' two younger siblings are Luke, born 1958, who is a dog trainer, and Abby, born 1953, who is an attorney and a board member of the American Civil Liberties Union of Tennessee. Rubens spent much of his childhood in Oneonta, New York. As a child, he frequented the Ringling Bros and Barnum and & Bailey Circus, whose winter headquarters were in Sarasota. The circus atmosphere sparked Rubens' interest in entertainment, and influenced his later work he also loved to watch reruns of I Love Lucy, which made him want to make people laugh. At age 5, Rubens asked his father to build him a stage, where he and his siblings would act out plays Rubens attended Sarasota High School, where he was named president of the National Thespian Society. He was accepted into Northwestern University's summer program for gifted high school students, joined the local Asalo Theater, players of Sarasota Theater, and appeared in several plays after high school graduation. He attended Boston University and began auditioning for acting schools. He was turned down by several schools, including the Juilliard School and twice by Carnegie Mellon University, before being accepted to the California Institute of the Arts. Rubens moved to California, where he worked in restaurant kitchens and as a fuller brush salesman in the 1970s, Rubens began performing at local comedy clubs and made four guest appearances on The Gong Show, out of a total of 14 guest appearances, as part of a boy-girl act he had developed with Charlotte McGuinness, called The Hilarious Betty and Eddie. 9. 18. He soon joined the Los Angeles-based improvisational comedy team The Groundlings. He remained a troupe member for six years, working with Bob McClurg, John Paragon, Susan Barnes, and Phil Hartman. Hartman and Rubens became friends, and often wrote and worked on material together. 19. In 1980, Rubens had a small part as a waiter in the Blues Brothers.